And there's another technology being trialled here in Brazil that could potentially push the boundaries of security systems into a whole new dimension. They're using facial recognition software to scan a crowd which is, well, tens of thousands strong. And where best to test that than at one of the biggest football matches of the season here at the Paikambu Football Stadium. So, this is where the security system starts with a camera, and in many cameras like this, which grab an image of everyone coming through the time styles, match it to their database, and flag up any people of potential interest. Developed in Israel for use in border control, the biometric facial recognition system is now launching in Brazil and being tested by police. It has the potential to be used in a wealth of areas, from locating missing people to enhancing safety in public places like subway platforms and arenas such as here in the Paikambu Stadium. If the cameras at the entrance don't capture you, then the well-placed higher definition cameras inside will. Your ability to match faces, this facial recognition, uh, how much of a breakthrough is that technologically? This is very, very new. Uh, that's why we are making a lot of pilots to see how the thing's going. It's brand new. In addition to the fixed cameras, the technology has been adapted to work with mobile XI glasses. Security personnel patrol busy areas, scanning large crowds. A single face can be focused upon, recorded, and then processed in less than 0.2 seconds. It's then linked to a database where a comparison is made with up to a thousand different faces per second. How does the actual technology work? How does it recognize my face without actually a person having to, to look at the screen? The software recognition is like 40 main points of the face. 40 points in my face. And it's linked with micro points. Right. It comes like 40,000 points. And it measures like the size of the, the nose and the, the eyes and the distance of from the, noise, the nose from the eyes, the mouth and everything. So what's your percentage accuracy you've managed to achieve at the moment? Uh, when the, it captures the images this uh, way, you can be 100%. So if you can control the image intake, yeah. you feel fairly confident yes, you can do it. Of course. At the heart of the facial recognition system is a mathematical algorithm or formula. It can be used to encode any face. The system maps your features and creates a unique numerical ID. Is this ready to become something that people can buy and use, or is it still a year, two years, ten years no, away? It's ready to, to be used. It's ready to be used. It can compare to a database uh, for the police, for example, and it's ready to be used. How much of a change does this make possible? I think the most important point is if uh, the guys knows that we have a good systems that can track them, it will help a lot then to think about before fight. So it's a deterrent as much as an application in its own right. Yes, yes. With the next World Cup fast approaching and the Summer Olympics in 2016, Brazilian police have big challenges ahead. Do you think there are ethical issues about the use of this, for instance? I mean, we're tracking completely innocent people here who are model citizens, no doubt, and, and we've captured their image without their permission, and we're going to store that and check if they do anything bad in the future. Actually, the, the system is made to be linked with some database to the police. If a guy, police, want to catch, it's, it's going to be linked. But normal, normal people, it's okay. If you're doing nothing, that's, that's fine. I can tell you for sure that for us in Brazil, it's a revolution. It's a revolution. We're being watched, that much we know. But what's more interesting, we are now being recognized. Facial recognition and biometric data is being used by the security industry to attain a new level of sophistication never before achieved. It raises questions of who should have access to the technology and indeed all of that data.